So search engines organize information. They do this in very robust uh, manners. They've got warehouses of servers. They've got big campuses of mathematicians formulating the most advanced algorithmic formulas to organize every piece of data they can possibly find on the internet. Right? So they're very, very good at organizing information and presenting it to you. They serve one major purpose, and that's to answer questions. And the questions are essentially search queries. When you go to Google and type in anything at all, that's, that's basically a question. You know, how do I grow a pumpkin? You know, where do I, where do I shop for laundry detergent? You know, what's the best SEO company or whatever it is? But their, their main function is to, to answer questions. I guess I can use the clicker. They index a lot of types of content, not just blog posts, not just articles, not just news. They index PDF files, they index MP3 files, they in index uh, video. They're even indexing mobile applications now, <coughs> Android apps. So you can actually start seeing mobile applications in search results if the mobile application developer optimizes their application code correctly, which Google has actually released the code to do that. So the point is, there's a lot of different types of, of media that they're able to index. Okay, <clears throat> I know there's a lot there. We're getting into it very quickly. Universal search, so it basically means that there are, they're using their algorithm to search for dozens of different types of media for any given search query. If you were to search for tsunami, for example, which is what this is a picture of, you're gonna see a government listing, a Wikipedia result, uh, YouTube video, images, news, a social media listing. You're gonna see a restaurant, a weather station, and, and in-depth articles. So there's every, almost everything on this page is a completely different type of media. It's important to understand this because the keywords or the search phrases that relate to your business may be better served by multiple types of media. So the first tip is to really understand what those types of media are. Okay, let's do a little audience interaction. <coughs> Who can tell me what their industry is and what types of media users favor in that industry? Uh, yeah. worthy of a drink ticket. Underst understanding your search environment is really important. I bet they'd also be interested in audio. Sure. Right. So the reason you want to understand this type of environment is because maybe your search results look a lot like this for the industry you're in. You can actually go and create pages on your website or on your blog or whatever that actually provide that same combination of type of media. For example, you know you, you know, your users, your, your fan base responds well to video content. So you know anything you post on a blog should probably have a video or an MP3 download. You throw in a PDF with that and make it a news instance or an in-depth article, you've got a pretty good chance of ranking a resource in that space because you've answered, you've checked the box video, you've checked the box audio. Now you just cover these other types of rich media, which the search engines love, and you've got a pretty good chance of ranking very well. So there's lots of different types of rich media. And the search engines love rich media because they answer <coughs> search queries more accurately in some cases. Ultimately, they favor useful resources. What that means is that they want content or video or images that are unique and original, fresh or recently updated, trusted and authoritative, or rich with media formats. So it's important to ask yourself, when looking at your search results, does your content deserve to rank? Let's say you want to rank for Pumpkin Patch, Orange County, for example. <clears throat> if you were to look at the first page of Google and see what's there, you're probably going to see local listings. You're probably going to see some articles. You might even see a news instance. 
what makes your website or your page worthy of being in that space? This is just a, a diagram example of potentially what a page on your website could look like. This is just a, this is not a proven concept. This is just a, a visual rendering of how a page could look. You've seen pages like this where there's videos, there's images, there's a download, there's related articles, maybe there's a white paper or something like that. Google and the other search engines love resources like this because they're f chocked full of, of useful useful data, use, useful information that they know will serve the user. So <coughs> different queries or questions <coughs> or, or industries uh, call different parts of the search engine algorithm. And what I mean by that is something in the medical space might fall under a different criteria than something in a fitness space or a cooking space. So can anybody tell me the industry that they're in and what criteria might be important for their given industry? And I know that's a tough question and it's very vague, but I'll give you an example. Let's say you have an e-commerce store and you're selling sports products. <coughs> I'm second guessing uh, this slide. It's I realize it's, it's. I'll just give some general examples because I know we're it's it, we're probably not deep enough into it yet. If you have an e-commerce store, some ranking factors might be um, product reviews. It might be unique descriptions for that product. It might be um, security on the website because people are actually going to create a transaction on the website, so your website has to be secure. Um, how many products are on the site? Is it just one product you're selling, or is it a big store like Amazon? So you can see how there's, there's all these factors that apply for an e-commerce store. A medical site, for example, how valid is the information? How trusted inf is the information? Does it look like it's written by a doctor, or does it look like it's written by somebody in the Philippines or, or a college student? Right? So there's different criteria that apply based on the different industries that, that the search engine is organizing, and rightfully so. If you think about it, if I'm researching some sort of um, medical thing, like a, a, a diagnosis for something, and I'm researching a prescription recommendation, that information better be accurate. Right, so there's very strict criteria that the, the search engines apply given the industry or given the, the type of information. Whereas something about you know, how to make you know, a birthday cake might not be that big of a deal. But there's other criteria for, you know, depending on the nature of the, ser 